Hello and welcome to Extending UI Components video. In this video we are going to take a look at extending XML configurations, adding new columns to grid and customizing existing columns. First, let's take a look on a grid that we are going to extend. I am logged in to Magento Admin Panel and I would like to go to Sales Orders page. On this page we can see a Magento UI component grid that is rendering orders and here is my test order in this grid. First I'd like to change some of existing columns in the grid and I've chosen purchase date column because it says purchase date however it shows both date and time so let's try to remove time part from values of this column second this grid is showing some columns by default and some columns are hidden however I haven't found any columns for tax being displayed in this grid so let's add base tax amount column. Good. So first let's found a UI component configuration responsible for this grid. For this purpose we'll take a look on URL after admin path and this is sales order. So we are looking for sales order index layout. Let's go to our project. I installed my Magento to project via Composer, so uh, all Magento to core modules are located under Vendor, Magento, and we are looking for module sales, because I definitely know that our order, sales order page is from sales module. So here it is, module sales for folder. Here I go to view admin HTML because we were in admin and layout folder. Here I will find a layout for the URL of the page. And here it is, sales order index. In this layout, we can see the link to AI component responsible for grid rendering. And this is sales, sales order grid. Now we go to UI component directory under admin HTML. And here we can see sales order grid XML file. This is the configuration for UI component we are looking for. What we have to do to extend this configuration is just to create the file with the same name in, th in the same location in our module. Let's go. So we are going to upcode our module location, view, admin HTML, UI component and I'd like to create sales order grid dot XML I added content but first let's take a look on the original file I mean the original sales order grid.xml here it is so so what we are looking for is first purchase that date column let me find find it and here it is 
purchase date. As you can see, to override this column, we have to follow the configuration path using nodes and override just a config value we would like to change. In this case, it's date format. To add a column, we have to find columns node. copy its name and use it in our configuration. So finally, we'll have this kind of override configuration. I have columns node as a parent, then I'm referring to created at column, changing date format to just months, day and year. Then I am adding base tax amount column with price renderer. It will have filter of range type and label base tax amount. Now grid is ready to display base tax amount. However, we don't have this field in database in sales order grid table. So we have to add it there. For this purpose, let's go to setup directory of our module and upgrade schema file. Here I'm going to add code snippet. Here we have to create additional version check, increase version number, and we are adding column to sales order grid named base tax amount of type decimal as usual for price types and simple command. After this script will be executed, the column will be added to sales order grid However, we still need to populate this column with correct data. And fortunately, sales, sales module provide us with such possibility. The only thing we have to do is to map our column to sales order table column in DI configuration. So we go to etc di.xml and here we have to add columns argument item to the virtual type named magento sales model resource model order grid and the item inside columns is just base tax amount which is the field name in, in sales order grid table that is linked to sales order base tax amount field when this configuration is in place each time order is placed an information, a value of sales order base tax amount will be copied to sales order grid base tax amount field. Finally, let's edit module.xml and perform our upgrade. In module.xml, we would like to first change the version of our module for our upgrade script to run. And second, I would like to add Magento sales to dependency of our module. Cause now our module is extending Magento sales functionality and keeping Magento sales in thick 
in sequence will ensure that Magento Cells module, module is installed and our configuration will be loaded after Magento Cells configuration. Now let's check our changes. First, let's clean cache. Now let's upgrade bin magento setup upgrade Finally let's take a look on changes on sales order page and the grid I'll refresh this page As you can see Base tax amount field appeared in the grid and it says that I didn't pay tax for my order. Also purchase date is now showing just date. That's great. In the next video we'll customize checkout.